If you've ever tried editing a whole bunch of WooCommerce products at once, then you know how painfully slow this process can be. Updating variations, prices, stock levels. It's just clicking, typing, clicking, waiting, clicking, and repeating, and so on and so forth. But here at Barn2, we actually teamed up with a SaaS tool that fixes this for you. And I think you're gonna like it. Today, we're checking out a tool called Settery. It connects to your WooCommerce store, and basically lets you bulk edit your products in a spreadsheet. Now I'll admit it's not free, but it's perfectly affordable and honestly really worth the money if you're updating hundreds of SKUs on a regular basis. Now, just to give you a quick reminder, this is what the editing experience is like in the normal WooCommerce product screen. So you have your variable product here with all the different variations. You click on one, you update the photo, you update the price, for example, scroll down, update anything else you need to, and then you click on the next one and do the same thing. Update the image, update the price, etc., etc., all the way down until you click save changes. There are a few ways to save time with this, but nothing in the default WooCommerce plugin actually allows you to truly edit your products in bulk, especially variations. And as you know, you might have hundreds of variations for even a single product. So we might be talking about hours worth of admin here. Now, to be fair, I made a video about some various different bulk editing tools, which you can watch by clicking on the link up here, but none of those tools are actually as comprehensive as Settery. So here's the Settery dashboard, but I haven't connected my store yet. So I'm just going to add that here. It says first to install the helper plugin. So that looks like this. If you search for a new plugin and search for Settery, then you can install and activate that on your site as I have already done. Then the next step is to add your store's URL. So I'll just do that right now and then add the store and it'll ask if you want to connect it and click on approve and click on manage products. Now Setter is gonna pull all your product details from the WooCommerce plugin and it will sync across Settery and your site. So anytime you make an update on Settery, it'll also be reflected on your website. So here we have our different products and you can of course mess around with these columns move them around if you want. Like maybe I want the name here, the type to be here and so on. And let's just make that one a little bit bigger so we can see variable product and all of the product details along here, unless they have a reason to be grayed out are going to be editable. So you can update or edit the categories of various things. Sometimes they're just grayed out because they're all part of one single product, but they're just simply variations for that product. You can see here we have the price column. I think I wanna bring this over to here and put it right next to the name. That way I can see the name of the product next to the price. Now I wanna show you some of the coolest time-saving features that Celery offers. So first of all, if you want to add new products, you can do so manually within Celery, or you can use the import tool to import products from another source, and those will be updated in your WooCommerce store, of course. You can mess around with the interface and see what kinds of columns you want to add. I don't even have them all enabled right now. There are a lot more possible. And one of the coolest feature is views. So you can save this unique view. So let's just call it my website and we can save this view. And that basically allows me to save the configuration of the different columns. So when I log back in, if I want to just see that set of columns and right in front of me, I can click on that view. Now for all of these different columns at the top here, you can create a filter. So if you only want to see, for example, your simple products, you can click on this simple box here, click OK, and all of your simple products will be shown and none of the variable products and vice versa. You can switch it around, click and show only variable products. So here I have all my variable products, but I don't have all the variations separately. So you can just edit the main product without editing each of the individual variations. So let's remove that filter and let's talk about some bulk editing. So if I select every single product in my store, that might be a bit overkill, but using filters, I can reduce how many things I'm selecting, of course. And let's just have a look at some bulk actions. So first of all, you can export products to CSV. You can even clone products, which can make copying and adding new products a much faster process. Or you can click on edit. And now this will bulk edit 100 different products for me. And I can edit literally any of these different fields. So if I want to change the stock quantity, for example. How do I want to edit it? I can either set a value 
or I can do really any of these increases or decreases. So let's increase the value by a certain amount. So let's say I got 10 of each of these items into the store. I can add 10, increase value by 10, click on proceed, and now the quantities will have increased. So for products where I'm managing stock at the moment, then the stock quantity will increase. If I haven't chosen to manage the stock quantity, then it won't increase. But let's see if I can manage stock on all items. Let's go back to here, manage stock, set value to yes, and then click on proceed. And now I will be managing my stock levels for all my different products. And whenever you need to save your changes, you can click on save up here. But if you don't like that change you just made, of course, you can also clear it. Now, another common thing that you might want to update on a regular basis based on inflation or currency changes is your prices. So let's update all of our prices by 5%. Click on bulk actions edit products, find regular price, and we're going to increase value by a percentage. That way it'll be consistent across our entire store. We'll update by 5%, click on proceed, and that's going to be reflected across our entire store. And we'll click on save changes. Now it does inform me that two products were not updated because the product type was not found. So certain custom product types might be affecting how this tool is able to read the values and edit them. However, 84 products were successfully updated. So that's pretty easy. And once you save changes within Cedary, it'll automatically update on your WooCommerce site. So you don't need to do any exporting or importing in order to bring these updates to your WooCommerce store. Honestly, this feels like the kind of tool that should have been in WooCommerce from the start, but I guess they just wanna keep things nice and light and simple in the main plugin. But if you are the sort of store owner who's managing hundreds of SKUs and updating prices on a regular basis, this is gonna be a huge time saver for you. Now, as I mentioned, Cedary isn't free, but it's very reasonably priced. Like honestly, if you've ever wasted an afternoon trying to update products one by one, then this tool will pay for itself in no time. Here's a link to try a free demo of Cedary on your own store. And if you want to learn more about other bulk editing tools, you can watch this video next. And of course, thanks for watching.